So I play Dragon's Dogma for the first time ever, and this is not the full review, this isn't even a review, I'm just gonna walk you through my thoughts after playing about, I don't know, about three hours or so, because I really want to like this game, and I do like bits of it, the combat is cool, uh, the music's really good, uh, the open world is okay but tedious, but there's a few things that I just, I'm really struggling to uh, understand. Now, first off, I could always go to Google. I could. But because this game was suggested by so many of you, uh, I know Dragon's Dogma has been on the channel list for a while, and I'm finally tackling it. And I expected it to be quite a smooth experience based on how many people have uh, played it, you know what I mean? And recommended it to me. But I gotta say, I'm struggling. So first off, let's talk about that opening. I've gotta be honest, the, 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 the moment I played the opening and it sent you straight into gameplay, they gave you some abilities, they, they made it very clear what kind of game this is. I was excited. I was loving it. The combat felt good. The, the giant dragon, I know it's Dragon's Dogma, but I didn't expect to see a giant dragon that quickly. And then to play it and see what it feels like when you're balanced, you know, when you've actually got some levels, some XP and all that, that looks, it felt really good. And then it cut to the actual start of the game where you get this cinematic where this dragon attacks your building, your your village, this town, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called just yet. It's hard to remember the names. And he stabs you with his claw and eats your heart. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'm confused. So then after that, it basically sets you loose. It says, do these tasks and then go into the open world and go do your thing. And that is when I kind of just found myself kind of lost. I followed the main path, I got to this giant city, I don't know what the city is called, it's, once again it's hard to remember the name, apparently there's a guy I need to see there. But after that it tells you to go to these, this dwarven bit to get access to your pawns, and from there, and from there I've really struggled to kind of figure out what I'm doing. I've been going into the open world at night, I've been trying to go to these bandit camps and they just wipe me out, I don't have any idea how to level up, what my vocation should actually be, because I did google bits of it and it turns out there's certain vocations and no, you're not meant to really use, it's not that good until later on in the game, which is fair enough, that's the way these games usually are. But for me, I chose like the basic bitch thing, so you get your sword and you get the shield and you just and you kill like the goblins as they scream you know what I mean so I've been doing that but I recently changed my vocation to assassin because that's what was recommended so assassin is the way to go and I'm like okay I'll do that and not much has changed now admittedly I'm new to the game I'm only five hours in this game's supposed to be like 30 hours including the DLC so I'm still fairly new into it I've, I said I was going to review it last week but it's took taken me so much time with my work and doing other games and making sure other content's coming out, I've just realised I'm going to have to spend so much more time in this game, even if I'm not really enjoying it at the moment. And I don't think I'm, I don't think the reason I'm not enjoying it is because of the game. I think it's my expectations of it, as well as the hype around it from other people suggesting it. And I'm not blaming you guys, don't worry. I still think the game has potential, but I'm starting to think it just might not be for me. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm having the same issue with System Shock. I don't know if you guys heard about the System Shock remake, but they gave me a review code about a week and a half ago, and I've been trying to play through that, and I'm just struggling to enjoy it. They really stuck with their guns with the whole remaster remake thing, making it exactly like the original, and it's very tough for a modern gamer to uh, play it and stay invested in it, especially after a beer or two, you know what I mean? Because you're thinking you're doing puzzles, so I'm having the same issue with Dragon's Dogma. And I'm not saying I want to be having my hand held, you know, I'm not some game journalist that is playing Doom on easy and complaining about violence or whatever. I'm just saying that uh, the game could really use some sort of, you know, push, some incentive for you to follow all the time. And I'm just not seeing that in Dragon's Dogma. So, my question to you guys, what am I doing wrong? How do I stop myself from free feeling like this game is going nowhere? And what is the goal? What am I doing other than trying to get my heart back from this dragon? I don't need you guys to explain the pawn system or anything like that. I'll figure it out on my own. And in fact, I want to figure out most of it on my own. But I've never done this. And I know a lot of people love these games. Well, this game in particular. But I am struggling. I am struggling. And I'm not afraid to admit that. But if I'm going to review it, if I'm going to take your time for an eight minute review, it needs to be good. It needs to be entertaining. And it needs to be my opinion, obviously. I don't want to get other people's opinion on it. But I also want to make sure that I'm actually playing it the way it needs to be played. Because I've noticed in a couple of the reviews, I've seen the comments, I've played certain games in a way that... You're not supposed to play it like that, Jack. Dude, if I'm not supposed to play it like that, why can I play it like that? 
You know what I mean? So I just want to make sure I get this right. I want to make sure it's good. I want to make sure the review is something you've, wait you've waited for, especially for the people that have been suggesting it for nearly a year and a half, two years. So yeah, that's it's basically just an update video. It's basically an update video. So basically, I enjoyed the start, but I'm struggling in the middle. And I'm hoping it's going to get a bit more clearer towards the end. So uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Please let me know if you've played it. Please just leave a comment. Give me some tidbits of information, a tip or two maybe. And from there, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you to like the 150, 200 people that watch this. Maybe more, I don't know. But uh, those are my thoughts. Let's see what happens. And uh, yeah, I want to enjoy it. And uh, have a good day. Have a, have a good time. Thanks. Cheers. Goodbye.